Hello everyone. In this video we're going to go over some of the basic trig functions in Excel. Okay, to get started I'm going to create a set of values over here. Uh, most of us when we think of uh, circles or angles we think in degrees and so I'm going to make a column here for degrees and I can drag this all the way down uh, as I showed in some of my previous videos to make a 360 degrees. See the small number next to my cursor tells me what the number is. Okay, now one of the, th one of the things about uh, using trig formulas in Excel is is they uh, they all uh, want uh, you need to use radians rather than, than degrees. So the first thing we need to do is convert the degrees to radians. And to do that, we hit our equals and type, start typing in radians. And it'll come up. And, uh, and then we can select the value over there. Okay. And like I showed in my previous video, we just double click this box and it'll autofill. Boom. And then if we want to get the sign of that angle, it's actually called sign, so or S I N. That makes it simple, and make sure we're taking uh, the radian value rather than degrees. Oops. Okay. And same thing for cosine. It's the C O S. Here we go, and and tangent. STAN. Again, on degree or on the radians. Now, um, if we have an angle that's in radians and we want to convert it back to degrees, you might have guessed it. You type in degrees. And this column should match column A. And it does. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Now, some other functions that we have available to us is uh, uh, arc sine. And we have arc cosine. And this might be, if you see it in some other contexts, this would be cosine to the negative one. And we have, you guessed it, an arctangent. So those are all the basic trig functions. Uh, the key thing to remember is you have to work in radians when you're working with these trig functions. And if you, uh, if what whatever your formula you're working with is the answer is in uh, an angle, uh, you'll have to convert that back to degrees if you if that's what you're looking for. So that's basically it. And in the next video, I'll go over some basic uh, charting and plotting of uh, these values. Thanks a lot.